what's up? Now, I admit, I watch Vlad TV, and he had Charleston White on, and this has gotten some real traction. Charleston White, um, a tourist gang member, and he speaks and does commentary, and sometimes I check out the cat, you know, I watch. But I'm going to speak on this, because this is like something that <laughs> I can't believe he parted his lips to say. He said that gangs were worse than slavery for black folks. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, no. Gangs have been around for a long time. And there's a code of ethics and so on and so forth. However, everybody didn't have to join up to a gang. And the same people that allow gangs in certain blocks were not the same people that had access with slavery. And... You know, when you have a situation where you don't control, you know, it's about control. How does gangs get to infiltrate neighborhoods and places? Because there's money spent because people put a situation in. Well, slavery overrides all that because the biggest gangs, the real gangs is Republicans and Democrats. I mean, let's take it. They they benefit off of slavery. So where will you look at it? That's why I don't vote. I don't care about voting. And I never will. And they're nothing but gangs. Just like the pharmaceutical pimps with the white coats. You go to their store to drug you up, thug you up, and men make you mine like mush. It's all connected. See. Now, I know when black gang people hustle people... And all that, you know, that's the ties. But again, who is the big boss? Not some cat that claims to set or the block. The big boss is downtown putting the money in. It is a chain. It's an organization. And you have somebody white that's associated with it. How do you think it happens? How do you think El Chapo got to come back and forth to America and he was going to have to pay restitutions of $12 million? How do you think that came about? Stop looking at the surface stuff that looks like it's the bad guy, which it is, but there are people behind that that control that. Okay. So Charles and White need to do his history. But so 400 years with slavery... With everything that's legally documented with institutionalized racism in every walk of life. Before you become a gang member, you have to learn and read and write. Before you become a gang member, you have to learn where to buy your clothes, what to do, what to say, what to think. How do you think you form that? And where do you think that comes from? And that built in slavery and all that money that you spend with them slave masters go into. That's why you get in the hustle of gang banging, drugging and all that. To get that white man's face in your pockets. That's why you can never say. I understand his point in a modern context. About how the drugs and the infiltration. But again. It still comes down. And when gang members or people snitch. And rat out on people. And take that deal. Think about who they go to. The government there. You know the real gang bangers. That's the real gang bangers. All the ones that controlled everything, all the ones that had all the black leaders clinched and killed and allowed all that. <laughs> Those are the real gangbangers. No one should ever compare anything towards slavery. We still haven't gotten reparations and apology, and we still haven't had our equal footing in America. We're not even close. Because until you get an apology, I'll tell you this financial, I'll tell you something. Joe Biden is full of it, just like Donald Trump is full of it. They ain't nothing but Klan. <laughs> You ain't never going to see no white man go in the White House and say, hey, you know what? Let's get apology. Let's get reparations. Let's. I had to give it to. I was watching Phase On. He was on Vlad. And he brought up a good point about bail of cotton when you're picking cotton and how you got to bail. There's so many places in the United States that owe African Americans reparations and in Europe for slave trade. And I know some people are going to say they were black slave masters, which they were. However, who did they answer to and how did they get that call? See, everything still ties back to the pimping off the black skin. And it's still felt to this day in all institutions, from Hollywood, sports world, all that. They do not create equal ownership and they do not create equal bonding. They own everything and let it be known without saying it. They'll throw a black face in commercials and black and white to an extent that they'll tolerate 
but there is no unity in America. The only way you ever get unity in America is they'd have to acknowledge black people as human beings, and they have not. That's why Asian people come over here get exempt. Mexican people come over here get exempt. You think about it. Everybody else come over here and gets treated like ro- almost. They got a, a jokes off the boat and all kinds of stuff. Black folks ain't got jack to com- comprehend the injustice that you still see. So please, there is no comparison to no gain to slavery. There is nothing else you can compare to slavery in America because America was built off of slavery. And that's why celebrating their holidays, or what are you celebrating? Because the truth is, their holidays were built off the blood of black folks. All of it. And then that Black Friday garbage, which I'm going to do a video about, pff, tune that mess out. All of it has been benefit off the misery and the profits off of black skin. So there is no comparison. Anyway, that's my thoughts takes about Charlton, uh, Charlton White, Charleston White comparing gangs over uh, comparing it to slavery, which I didn't see it. But anyway, please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, you got to educate your mind to see the big picture. I'm out.